Women have marched across Waterloo Bridge today to highlight the need for female scientists to be included in the school curriculum. It's also a push to get more women and non-binary people into science-based careers. Waterloo Bridge, or the Ladies' Bridge as it's nicknamed, was chosen for the march as a nod to the women who rebuilt the bridge during the Second World War, as Frankie McCamley reports. Dressing up as their favourite fictional character, a girl who dreams of becoming an engineer. These young ladies are today joining a march to encourage more women into science, technology, engineering and mathematics careers, known as STEM. It's being led by Anne-Marie, a campaigner and computer scientist, amongst many other things. So we end up talking about, you know, just the guys, just the dead guys, right? And it's like, no, you don't have to be dead and a guy to be able to contribute. You can be alive, you can be a woman, you can be pretty much anybody of any ilk, of any identity, of any background. There's so many women that have been, have gone ahead of us, right, in STEM and in innovation, whose names aren't in the national curriculum, whose stories we don't tell. We've seen that one in three young people haven't, I don't remember being told about a woman scientist or woman in STEM in the last two years at school. Alice hopes the march will encourage more women with disabilities into the field. Hopefully the march today can kind of build on stuff and show that like there is a gap in the market, there is a lack of women in the workforce, but also we can do something about it. It's not a problem that has to stay the way it does. We can change it and I'm really hopeful and excited that today that is going to happen. The group today have chosen to walk across Waterloo Bridge, also known as the Ladies' Bridge, because what a lot of people might not know is it's mainly women who built this back in the 1940s during World War II. Those female engineers, alongside the women in STEM marching today, already seem to be inspiring the next generation. What's made you feel inspired? Um, just that... Um they are representing like all of the women in the STEM community. And so what do you want to do when you're older? Uh, I'd like to be a surgeon. No boundaries, no limits. A clear message here is this group hope more women march into the history books. Frankie McCamley, BBC London.